What's up guys, it's D-Man10 here. A couple people asked me, uh, Drew, how do you upgrade to 5.0 betas? Um, I'm going to answer this in this video. It's not very hard. Uh, you just have to have the right tools. First tool, you're going to need the new Opta iTunes, and you have to have the right beta for your firmware. Um, I'm running beta 7 iTunes right now, even though I have beta 6. I wouldn't suggest updating to beta 7 because there is some bugs with the music player. Um, sometimes the music player is glitchy. Mine didn't work at all, so I needed to downgrade because I use my music player on my phone a lot. Um, so I suggest for right now, today is Wednesday, September 14th. If you're watching this a couple days after this, suggest uh, updating to uh, beta 6 for right now. I'll let you know when it's safe to uh, update to beta 7. I'll leave it in the description. I'll update you guys. Um, or if beta 8 comes out or whatever. Alright, so here's how you do it. So like I said, you have to have the right beta for uh, your iPhone. You have to have the right tools. So um, I have i iTunes beta 7 right now. Like I have iTunes, uh, I mean uh, iOS beta 6 on my phone. So I can have iTunes beta 10, let's say, and still have iTunes beta 7 on my computer right now. Um, and I have iOS beta 6 on my phone. That will still be compatible as long as you have the latest version of iTunes. Um, so, like, for example, if you have iTunes beta 10, you can have iOS beta 6 still on your phone. And uh, beta 10 will still work. So... Hope it didn't confuse you there. Uh, it was a little bit of a tongue twister. Um, so this is how you do it. Uh, another tool you're going to need is the firmware for your device. And you have to download the right firmware. I'll provide you links for firmwares. Um, I'll try. It's very hard to find some sometimes. Um, but if you start at beta 5, um, I think you're only allowed to update to beta 6 and then to 7. Because it used to be like down in the lower firmware, it's like beta 4 used to be jump, you can jump to 6. But I don't think it's like that anymore. I think you have to keep upgrading one, one at a time. Otherwise, I'll get you guys solid uh, firmware's computer. And then from there, you can over the air update or OTA update. That's what comes up on your phone when you can update um, from there. So here's how you do it. Like I said, five times. Uh, option restore on Mac or uh, shift restore on Windows. Um, you're just going to go find your firmware. Now I have this is the uh, beta 6 on my uh, computer here. This is a hard copy of it. Just before I do that, I'm going to check my host files just in case. So I'm going to close out iTunes. Uh, I'm gonna click on the home screen on Windows. You just hit the start button and run. And I also have a, a bunch of other videos on here uh, on my channel, so go check them out. Um, but on Mac, you would go go to folder, private, etc. Uh, host file. I'm just checking it right now. Yep. See, there's two lines there. I need to fix those. Um, so always check your host files. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about on Mac or uh, PC, I have videos on both how to do it. All right, so go check those out in my channel. I'm not gonna really do it. I'm trying to save time here. Um, so I'm gonna edit these real quick. Copy paste. Very easy to do. Use file directions. So once I have these uh, lines taken out here, I can start the process. Very important that you don't delete anything else in this file except for those. Uh, control X Y Enter. Okay, close out the terminal now, and uh, I'm gonna open up iTunes again. Alright, I had to cut the video there. Sorry about that. I need, I need to cut out my phone number. So now you can see I'm on 4.2.10 still. 
I'm going to go to option. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put my device into DFU mode. That usually works out for me and most people. So doing this, you're going to hold down the power and the home button for 10 seconds like I'm doing now. Count down. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release the power button and keep holding the home button for another 10 to 15 seconds until it pops up on your screen. It says I'm in recovery mode. means we're good to go. Doesn't know what my iPhone is. That's what we want. And this does work for all devices. For people that ask me a thousand times, works. iPad, iPhone, iPod, iRock. No, I'm just kidding. But it works for everything. Everything Apple makes. So we're just extracting the software here, and people wanted me to run through this whole thing, showing them it legitly works. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe up above, down below, wherever the hell it is now. It smooths everything. So, so check out the description for info on this video and uh, my other videos. Check out how to edit your host files and downgrade. Upgrading is very easy compared to downgrading. Everyone can upgrade. Only certain people can downgrade at certain times. See, we're restoring here, no problem. Preparing iPhone. Your iPhone might light up a little bit or flash white completely. And you can see here we're upgrading. This is a pretty good process. Sorry, it's hot as hell in my room, so you're going to hear some crickets. Ugh. So how you guys been? I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Sorry these videos haven't been getting up lately. Um, having trouble with school and swimming and work and everything together at once. So, trying to get these videos out to you guys. You can see over here I got the downgrade video to upload, which will be in the description. Had a downgrade from iOS 5. So say you updated to it, you don't really like it, it's a little laggy for you. I mean, it's still in the betas, so I'm reminding you. So if you're not a big fan, you want to go back to your jailbreak or whatever, you can downgrade back down. But I mean, um, this is a great uh, alternate route from um, being stuck in 4.3.5 if you didn't save your SHSH files. So you weren't basically able to downgrade to jailbreak on 4.3.3. Um, this is a great out route to that because um, just with the, the task bar and the uh, multitasking, and uh, this is a great, great iOS. Um, I'm really excited for it, the whole release this fall. Hopefully it comes out soon. It's already September 14th already. It's like I'm two weeks deep into school already. It's nuts. So I'm waiting for the new iOS to officially launch. It's be really exciting. I like testing this out. It's definitely worth the six dollars. And if you guys want to um, purchase this uh, iOS, so you can actually put this on your phone, or if you're just a bystander and you're watching this, so just watch the video. Um, I would definitely suggest updating if your device is uh, capable. Uh, capable devices is iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod 4, iPod 3G, uh, iPad 1, iPad 2, and uh, I'm not missing anything. Oh yeah, the iRock. I forgot the iRock. Yeah. So, um, definitely, definitely do this. Um, it's worth the six bucks. I don't know if you guys want to wait now. I mean, it's probably going to be coming out in a couple weeks, the official release. Sorry I didn't get this video out for a while. I was actually, I filmed this video about four or five times in the last couple of weeks. I just couldn't get the time interval. I'm going to have to edit this down a lot. Um, but I couldn't get the time down right. So it wasn't 45 minutes long. I actually found myself filming this video for the first time. It was 30 minutes long. I don't know how I rambled for a half an hour, but I did. I mean, I'm already on 10 minutes. It's easy. I can talk for hours on this stuff. 
I don't know why. It's just I like doing it. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers and to the new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Um, I treat my videos very seriously, um, but at the same time, I like to keep it as plain and understanding as possible. Not shooting out all those words you don't know. I always explain what I'm talking about. Um, to help you guys out, because I was in your spot two or three years ago. I was that kid on YouTube looking up how to jailbreak my phone. Um, now I'm the guy that's making videos to help other people out, because I like to help other people out, because um, I know how you guys feel, and that's why I put out these videos, because I know what you guys want, because I know I like what I like. And I know what you guys would like too. So this is why I enjoy doing this very much. Um, so thank you for all the support. Um, iPhone is restoring right now. It's almost done with the scrub bar here. And uh, I'm just keeping this in real time so I'm not faking anything as people say. Uh, what else to talk about? Oh, if you guys want to make me um, either like an intro song an intro or uh, a channel background that would be awesome I will I'll shout you out in every video I'll put you in the description a couple times um, I'll even I'm willing to pay people you come up with a good good channel um, channel picture or whatever I have the new channel so on each side here like say if this was each side would be like I want like it's a demon ten down there so you can see and maybe like a picture of me, a cartoon of me. Um I wanna change my icon on the on YouTube. Uh really if you can help me out with a song if you're talented you play drums. I really want like a drum beat when I'm doing like unboxings and stuff. Um that would be awesome and I would definitely shout you guys out. So uh, just PM me um, if you guys have any questions about this video or if you want to submit any pictures or anything let me know I'll, I'll shout you out my email and uh, we'll get that rolling that'd be great if you guys can do that so iTunes is just waiting for my phone to reboot now and what's great about iOS 5 is I don't even have to be plugged in to restore my phone so um, once I uh, sank or <laughs> sank to my stuff to iCloud, which is a new feature that is like wireless syncing, um, I don't even have to be plugged into the computer anymore. I feel pretty special. So once you wait for the scrub uh, bar to be done and you see that your iPhone's going to pop up here in just a second, see I can restore from a backup. Um, I'm not going to want to do that. I'm going to wait for my device, and then we get the cool animation, and I'm going to actually do this from my iPhone. Uh, I'm going to enable location service. I'm basically going to tell you what I'm doing right now. Um, this is all self-explanatory. I'm connecting to a Wi-Fi network right now that's in my house. So I'm just typing in the password here. And I'm joining this, and with Wi-Fi, this will help you uh, sync back with iCloud. Alright, so you get it next. Um, I'm actually going to restore from an iCloud backup, which I had. You hit next. You type in your Apple ID. I'm not showing you guys any of this because it's kind of private information here. I don't want to be showing off my stuff. Hit next. And agree to the terms. And I can pick the latest backup on my phone, you hit restore, and it's going to start to restore on your phone. So that's basically how you do it. Hope you guys like this video. Please give me a subscription up above and a like on this video. Thanks a lot.